Welcome to the Dice Tower, a show all about board and card games. In this episode, Dan King and Eric Summer take a look at different board games at the Gamma Trade Show in Las Vegas. This show is from 2014 and talks about all the new brand new games coming out. Here with our interviews is your host, Dan King. Hello, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek here with the Dice Tower. I'm at the Gamma Trade Show, and here we have Kat Metzen from Cryptozoic. She is the Director of Marketing. Yes. And so tell me, how long has Cryptozoic been coming to Gamma? Uh, We've been coming to Gamma since the company started. We just celebrated our four-year anniversary, so this is probably our fourth show. Four in a row? Mm -hmm. And what brings you here time and time again? What's the value that you find here? I think the value of Gamma um, for us is the the large concentration, obviously, of your hobby store owners that are here. Um, So it's, you know, my counterpart owns a hobby store, and it's really important to us as a board game company to do what we can to bring traffic into those hobby stores. Um, so this gives us a chance to sit down and talk with the retailers, see what's working, what's not, how can we help. Um, and so it's, it's very important for us. It's the core of the community and the way we see it. Cool. Yeah. So it's a lot of building that relationship between you and the re- retailers to try to make sure you get your, your, your games and find the right matches and get them yeah. knowing what you have for them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a hard business to be in, especially when you have your Barnes & Nobles and your Walmarts out there. So it's, I mean, if they don't survive, we don't survive. So it's important to us to figure out how to make that work really well. Yeah, that makes <clears> sense. And then you probably have some new things that you're showing off here or some things that might be coming up soon, right? We do. Um, I'll go over just a couple that are coming out really quick. Okay. Um, so Doom that came to Atlantic City, which is a rescued Kickstarter um, that a lot of people have probably heard. Of. Yeah, heard it's of a it. Cthulhu game. Right. Um, no one likes Cthulhu, so I'm sure no one will want to play it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a game, um, it was a very popular Kickstarter. It ran into some trouble, um, and we were big fans of the game as well. So we wanted to see it out there. We believed in it, um, and we met with the creators of the game and decided that it, the Kickstarter backers had to be taken care of. So right now what's happening is we shipped a free copy of the game to all the backers, and then you'll be able to buy it in stores on April 2nd after they get their copy. Okay. And what, what kind of game is <laughs> Is it? Is it like a so it looks like Monopoly, uh-huh. um, but it's not. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. So you're actually playing. Um, you, you, the pieces are beautiful. They're like this big, uh, this big. Um, so you you actually are playing as each of the different gods, and you, as you go around the board, it's a little bit more evil than Monopoly, but uh, the movement is very similar. <laughs> okay. And how many people does it play? Uh, that one's two to four. Okay. Uh, and then, so also coming out on the same day, April 2nd, is an expansion to um, Walking Dead, the best defense board game. So okay. Walking Dead, the original one, is our still our top-selling game out there. And if people don't know what type of game that is, what type of game is that? So Walking Dead really is very much taking you through the TV experience of the game. Um, so in best defense, um, we, we uh, added cooperative play. So I'll just skip to what's coming out, which is the Woodbury expansion. If you're fans of the TV show, you know Woodbury. Um, so this is going to be another location that you add to the game and it adds the governor and that jerk <laughs> has a lot of resources and is really powerful so either you can play him as an NPC um, and you're trying to def- you're, you're, and he will mess with you as you're playing through that location or what we've added is you can play as the governor which adds a fifth player to the game and four players have to try to defeat him which is my favorite way to play because I really hate that guy um, so it's, if, you're fa- if you're fans of the show one thing about Walking Dead I think that's made it so popular is that every inch of it is steep inside um, the game. So you really feel like you're you're so in the TV show. The a no-brainer. A no-brainer, right. And what else you got? Uh, I would say probably right after that is our Adventure Time Card Wars booster packs that we announced. And so Adventure Time Card Wars, um, based on the TV show, uh, was an unexpected hit for us. Um, we hadn't intended on coming out with booster packs. Uh, we were just going to have the decks, but we sold out of 20,000 copies in one week. Wow. And that was with only 2,000 pre-orders. Uh, so we were kind of left with a situation where we were going to rush a reprint in, but there isn't new content planned until the fall. So we, uh, in two days, came up with a plan to take cards we already had approved, and then we were playing with in the house and make booster packs. Um, so it's just going to be one set. Um, if you do buy a display box, you have a good chance of getting all the cards, so we're not trying to make this a crazy, you know, CCG out there. It's very limited. Think of it more as like a Munchin, Munchkins expansion. Okay. Um, and we'll be teasing the new landscape cards, which is Nice Lands. So you'll want to check that out. Well, there you have it from Cryptozoic. Thanks very much, Kat. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.